She's running, but she ain't cooling. You ready to fix this thing? <laughs> Let's fix it. All right, so the purpose of today's video, pretty much, I wanna show, I've been seeing a bunch of guys on YouTube charging systems without using the traditional hoses. Um, you know, manifold setup, they've just been doing it with like one hose, the tank, and using the Bluetooth probes. So I kinda wanna try it, see if I'll stick to using it. Um, right now, I just have this on here by itself. I haven't even pushed in the Schrader core depressor, but I guess, what really has to happen is I have to take this off of here, off the valve core removal tool. Bam, now you got it like this. And then add this here. If I can one hand operation this thing. And it's tight on there. All right. So then, pop this boy off here. So then, and then I'll close this side of the port. Let me turn that that way. I kind of like that better. So I can put my low side port gauge here. Jake, only because I'm using my phone to record. Pull out the phone and connect to my phone and stuff. Get off. I'll show this part. <laughs> you done sneezing? Yeah. <sighs> go ahead, go ahead. White TI with the head cap to the side. <laughs> Expeditiously. Expeditiously. Alright, so let's see if I can just lean this like right up against there. Now and oh god, there's a beer. As I twist this in there, the depressor, the low size will start to pick some up. There we go. So let's sit. Bro, what is this compressor doing? Oh, it's just running low. Yes. That's real bad right there. And I do know it's R410A because we've been here before. I mean, we were here, what was it, like last week or something? And we told the people selling the house that the system was low. They want us to go ahead and just add some in here. So that's why we're back today. So I'm gonna give this back to you real quick. And I'm gonna get the scale and everything set up here. So just to show everybody, this is a brand new tank out of the box. We just picked it up from Epteen Distributors. But just to prove to you guys that, you know, I've freaking purged the air out of it. There we go. Booyah. So now, all I have to do to just let the refrigerant in is just really just turn this and watch the phone. So, god dang, I don't know if you need to see that in. There we go. You hold it. And then, I'm oh, opening it up. And you can see the low side does go up. That let in just right there on the scale, just about a half ounce. Or half a pound, I said half an ounce. <laughs> All right. Half a pound in there, I'm gonna let that sit for a second. We're just gonna try to get this super heat up, or I guess technically lower it. Uh, yo, what? Oh, cut. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think the thermostat just finally satisfied. Goof. Now I gotta let the thing sit there for a minute again. It's still running in here. Triangle. Yeah, that's cool. That's you said triangle. You talking about the alert symbol? Yeah, <laughs> um, I wonder if this has a test mode, kind of like those T6s with like the push buttons and we press and hold the plus and the and the home button. I wonder if it has that alert schedule, screen lock, Wi-Fi, brightness. Great day. Brightness, not breakdance, fool. <laughs> Device info alert. I mean, I guess let's see what the alert is. No Wi-Fi. Okay, cool. Done. No Wi-Fi. 
device info. No. How would we get to? I just want to throw it in test mode for real, for real. No I, look, you telling me that I think you're. Oh wait, hold on. Let, let me see if I can do it like the like the thing, and I press and hold the. Does it work like that? Am I just being stupid? If this works, that'd be sweet. <laughs> All right, I get. I give up. I'm just gonna drop this temperature down to, dang, whatever. Yeah. Oh. There was an issue with this drain the first time we came here. I didn't catch it on video, but um, the unit had a P-trap here, or has a P-trap here, but for some reason when we were cleaning it out and everything, we kept hearing like the water like gurgle back. So that kind of let me know that the system, that the drain was like air trapped. Like there was under the house in the crawl space, there was another trap somewhere. So what I have learned is that after the P-trap, if you put a vent there right after your P-trap, it'll kind of help if you if your system ends up catching any slack and create another um, P-trap under the house somewhere or, you know, if you were in an attic for some reason and the slope just kind of made its own trap again. Um, and now we have a that we've had a steady drain outside like the whole time. Are you getting some water from the fridge, bro? Okay, all right. Uh, let's wait for this thing to go through its delay, cut back on, and we'll finish charging the system up. Oh, I can get the probes in the in here now. And, uh, hey, cut cut on your uh, the app again and connect to my temp probes in the duct now. This closet, this this whole air handler, Goodman makes the fattest air handlers. I mean, it just it, it barely got in here. Turn the flash on. Line set comes from the bottom, so we are working with a piston here. Three and a half ton. What you got right now? Hey, your boy ain't no way. It's not. Eight, yeah, go back up. It's not 89 degrees in here. It's kind of <laughs> Let me put that right on the return now. And let's see how that changes. Okay. Yeah, we'll let that adjust. Let's get back outside. It's been hot outside. For real. I mean, they were sitting in direct sunlight on top of the, the condenser. <sighs> you think this one hose method is, is, is legit? What's your take on it? Would you do it? Or do you like it? No, because I'm not that smart. At least you're honest, okay? I mean, you're not stupid, but at least I'm you're honest. I'm for the comedic relief, goddammit. <laughs> you know, but we will, we, we will commend Jacob, though. He has been in his truck, like, all week. He's been running some calls, learning. You know, obviously everybody messes up. He's learning from his mistakes, and he's getting better. That's the good part. Get your butt back over here and give me your phone so I can see the pressures. Yes, master. Gotta let this thing. So, sitting at 89 degrees outdoor temp. So scroll back down to the bottom. Hit eight. Yep. Change that to 89. But you gotta change that from TXV to fixed. All right. So we're looking for somewhere around at 12 degrees superheat. Scroll up. Oh, right there. Boy, this thing operating ridiculously right now. It's R22 or some shit. Honestly, I mean, it is. But I know it's 410A. But, uh, I guess let me just start filling her up. And just, just, I know I'm supposed, I should have both clamps on. This is my normal, like, suction line clamp, but for some reason, Every time I cut it on, I just get a green light, and I'm pro I think I'm probably gonna have to like try to see if this if it needs a firmware update. Um, I tried replacing the batteries in it; it didn't work. It's still doing this green light thing. You know, it should have gave me the beep, and then now it just cuts right off. So for right now, I've just got one on there. I'll switch it around if I need to check the liquid line temp. Um, 
but right now I'm just going off the high side pressure so just wanted to make that be clear before somebody's like you're not you have both clamps on you need both clamps on I don't have both clamps on for a good reason right now buddy sorry all right what are we at 6.9 degrees superheat 137 over 299 18 and a half degree delta T that's looking good and the field piece app is saying <coughs> For some reason, it wants us now at 13 degrees superheat. No, I said like 12 earlier, and then it went to 8. Yeah. It's fluctuating off that return temperature. Oh, because I moved, I just went in there and moved the probe off the return grill. It's at 7. I'm okay with 7, though. I mean, sure we got 18 and a half degrees superheat. Or delta T, not superheat. So, and that only came after just doing about two pounds. I mean, I don't know how good. Oh, this is a brand new scale too. I ended up giving Jacob my old one. So boss man told me to go ahead and I just went and got like the cheapest field piece one at the supply house. Um, this one's just a wired one. They didn't have the Bluetooth one I think was like almost a hundred dollars hundred ten dollars more it's like nah buddy let's just go with the good old fashioned one huh yeah they're telling you oh yeah he's having a little allergic reaction not sure where he got it from though <laughs> um so we'll tidy this up and just leave it at that but i kind of i'm I'm a little 50-50 on this. I'm a little 50-50 because I feel like it puts a whole lot of strain on the man on the Bluetooth gauges. You know, just using them. I ended up even having to switch this one out. Um, this one is Jacob's pressure, high pressure one. Um, mine was some for some reason showing like if I took it off, and I think that's why my high side pressure was showing so weird of a number. When I took it off, it was showing like negative 100. Um, I don't know what that's about, but. I just took his off. I mean, I might have to clean that one and blow that out. I was shaking it and some water came out. So I don't know how water got in there, but we'll address that. And then this is the drain line. Right here with a little steady drip, drip, drippity drip. Uh, you got words of wisdom for the people today? You ain't gave words of wisdom in a minute. They ain't seen you in a minute. We'll get back to that. All right. I don't know. I'm not going to say this is a bad thing um, or even that it doesn't work. I mean, it obviously just worked for me. But I think I think this is one of those things where you got to get one of the newer ones that Field Piece came out with with the, with the sight glass on it, so you can just be a hundred percent sure you're putting liquid into the system when you're charging it instead of vapor. Um, that's the only real flaw I see in this. I mean, you're not having to carry a manifold set with you to just if you know you have to just. In, Add a little bit of refrigerant to a system. Just grab one hose, the tank, your scale, and run and go ahead and do this. Um, I don't know, Jake. I give this like maybe like a the one for my setup. I give this like a seven out of ten. Six, 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 seven out of ten. Seven, seven, eight. Then I have eight. Hey, that's a good trick. Don't ever downplay yourself. That's oh, a good trick. You're so nice. So supportive. Such a such a lawyer a loyal helper to the channel <laughs> yeah that's a hundred hundred percent right had a tenant today ask me if i uh if, if we teach how to do heating and air and this goofball just go straight up say yeah he's got a youtube got channel, a YouTube channel. <laughs> abhvac go check it out and i'm just like man what she said youtube she live under a rock maybe i don't know but you got your words of wisdom yet? I'm ready to be yeah. done. I'm trying to make this a short video for today. Comparison is a thug that robs your joy. Don't compare yourself to others. Be yourself. That be was, happy within yourself. That was good. That one was good. Hey, now, now what they got to do? What they got to do? Like, comment, and subscribe. Why you go redneck right there? <laughs> Don't give nothing about the tide.